It's time to do my fall fragrance list. I got some bangers for y'all. Get ready. He smells like Rome. We about to pop this off real quick. This is going to be my top fall fragrance list for 2019. Now, I've been doing this for, let's say, six years. And every year I try to put, you know, maybe three, four new fragrances in the list. Sometimes it's consistent with some of these fragrances coming from number one and dropping all the way to number five. But I try to stay consistent in, in giving you fragrances you haven't tried or you haven't heard of, and also giving you some of the things that I have from last year. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit. I got some new fragrances in this list. It's gonna be some dope, dope ones. So let's get ready. We're gonna start off with number 14. And that is from OG Fragrances. OG is a fragrance company. Uh, that's from Las Vegas. Cool guy, you know, used to be like a personal trainer for like movie stars, and uh, now he makes fragrances. Generous guy. I got this fragrance here from the company. They sent this one to me. It's a 10 mil travel spray, and this is Scent of Elegance. I'm gonna do a review on this very soon, but this is a fall fragrance. This is, if you like tonka bean, if you like amber fragrances, this is one you have to get your hands on. This is straight up holiday. I think I'm gonna be wearing this on Thanksgiving because it's so good. It's sweet, it's, it's uh, uh, kind of syrupy, and it's just different, and I like that. So, Center Elegance at number 14. And number 13, this is a new fragrance in my collection, and honestly, this was a, just a grab. I just went to the store. I was in Nordstrom and I was smelling fragrances. And this one just caught me off guard just because of the bottle at first. But then I smelled it and I was like, oh, this is crazy. This is Paul Sebastian. And Paul Sebastian is an old school fragrance. This fragrance actually was made when I was born. So I'm not going to tell you what year that was. Y'all going to have to find out. So, but man, this fragrance is absolutely elegant it is old school but this day and age right now if you're into fragrances if you like barbershop style lavender fragrances with a musky kind of characteristic you'll like this one so musk and uh, it has a it has musk it has lavender it has nutmeg and it also has a dominant note of oak moss so Fresh and lavender at first, but man, this is different. I tell you, you, you gotta be mature for this one. 30 and above, you gotta rock this. So that's Paul Sebastian at number 13. At number 12, another staple. I don't have to say too much about this fragrance. This is from Penhaligans. This is another barbershop style fragrance. More clean, more on the, uh, just came out of the, the barber got a fresh shave, a you know, fresh haircut, and then do a little bit of aftershave on, and you got a nice suit on. That is Pahaligan's Centurial. This is Elegance in a Bottle. So definitely check that one out. This is at number 12. Perfect, perfect, perfect frame for the fall. Okay, so there's a little twist here. Uh, friends of mine went to Essence and uh, 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 Milan um, and picked this bottle up for me um, and I didn't actually get a fragrance yet I was supposed to get the fragrance but you know a lot of complications with travel and all that so they just wouldn't send me the bottle so I have to 
find a way to get over there or have someone send it or come over here when they go back to Italy to pick it up. But they were generous enough. Send me the whole sample set and also send me the lotion and the body wash. So this is DFG 1924 right here. This is their lotion version of Noir. Oh my gosh, I have the body wash, the lotion, and a uh, five mil uh, sample. And that's actually my scent of the day. This is spices mixed with uh, amber, mixed with myrrh, and a nice like mandarin orange opening. So mix that citrus with these darker nuances and it's perfect for the cooler fall going to October, November time, but I had to wear it so it was cold me today. So that is DFG 1924 Noir. Can't wait to get a bottle. I'll do a full review on that when I do. Next up, this is from one of the most popular houses in the fragrance community. And this is one of the fragrances that I think most people know about. This is from Memo Paris, and this is Italian leather. <sighs> Crazy tomato leaf leather with sweetness inside of it. The leather is very kind of new leather, but dark with a vegetable kind of, you know, just it's the vegetable here kind of gives you that that double take, like what what? But it works. It works in this. So if you got an opportunity to smell this, check it out. This is what I'll be rocking in the fall. This is Italian leather from Mineral Paris. All right, so that was number 10. Now we're going to number nine. Number nine is, this is still one of those sleep fragrances that unfortunately, not a lot of people are talking about, but to me, I think it's still one of the most elegant Immortel fragrances you can ever get your hands on. And I compare it to uh, Amouage Sunshine Man. I just think this is a better version. I think this is a version, it came out actually before Sunshine Man, so I think the, the characteristics of that one is heightened to like 10th degree, and this one is perfectly balanced. This is, uh, I, I, I urge you guys to check it out. Go to Posa de Bago, check the line out, get samples of this one. It is a perfect fragrance. I got a review on this. I'll put the link in uh, the description below, but you gotta check this one out. This, this is 19 Maya 1957. Posa de Bago is one of my favorite houses. I just ate. Check it out. Next up, one of my favorite houses in the game. This is the house that probably put me on the map as a fragrance reviewer. And still, number one, number two, it, it flip flops. This is none other than Odyssey of the Victorious. And this is Iceni. Iceni has um, a dominant note of incense and elemi. Now the combination of incense is smoky, spicy, and elemi is just super sweet. It's not clawing or anything, but it works perfectly in the cool of four months. Check this one out. Odyssey of the Victorious Iceni. I think this is available in the US now, but you can still order it online or go to uh, Beverly Hill Perfumery. They got this fragrance, I'm pretty sure. So, Odyssey of the Victorious, one of the best houses in the game. I also had a review for that one, so go check that one out also. All right, so now we at number seven. Number seven is now we get to the boozy, more darker, more luxurious fragrances. This fragrance house is, um, it's more available now. They have a boutique in New York, um, and this is Fuegoia 1833, but this one is, uh, this, I've messed this name up every single time. Sequoia, Sequila, I don't know how to say it, but I'll put the name up there so you can see it. So you got the powdery cacao, the cocoa, and then you have, if you can imagine, chocolate syrup mixed with this kind of boozy rum and little hints of spices. Oh, I, I gotta smell it, just, oh my gosh. This might be my scent of the day for tomorrow. 
Shaquilla from Fragria. Get a chance, go check this one out. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Next up, I don't have a full bottle. This is just uh, a sample set that was sent to me by Clive Christian and hopefully, hopefully in the next couple months I'll be able to get this. This is Clive Christian Cypress. Now, this is probably the best release in my opinion of 2019. This Cypress fragrance is it has a brightness to it, it has a freshness to it, and an opening. But then, when it gets about two hours into the fragrance, it gets heavy, it has woody aspects, it's gorgeous. It is expensive, I know Cloud Christian is expensive as hell, but if you get a chance, try this one out. I'm wearing this on New Year's. I'm not gonna wear this no more into New Year's unless I get a full bottle of this. This is an elegant fragrance. Oh my gosh. Great for the fall, but I only have about four mil left, so I'm gonna wait till New Year's Eve to rock this. Next up, we have the top five now. The top five, y'all know I gotta bring the heat for y'all. Top five, I gotta give y'all the bangers. And we gonna start top five off with, still one of my favorite fragrances. It dropped down to number two because I got a new favorite. But Amor Di Palazzo from Juliet Mod will always be dear to my heart. And I know I put a couple of people on this fragrance and I got you know messages on Instagram, Facebook, thanking me for putting this fragrance out for them. But I'm telling you guys, this is an excellent, Suede, uh, nutmeg, amber, oh, just creamy fragrance. It is so goddamn good. Also have a review on my channel for this one. I reviewed this about three years ago, but go check the review out. This one is an absolute gorgeous fragrance. And it's not expensive. I mean, relatively speaking, I think this is like for just the bottle instead of the presentation, I think it's like a hundred and 80 bucks, can't beat that. Number four. Ugh, man, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was, uh, it was hard for me to pick number four, but I got it for you guys. I got it, I had to put it in there, and it could have easily been number one, but number four, essence. I, always, I, always, I don't know why I gotta do that. I could've just used the bottle. I, but the presentation is so damn nice. I had to do it. This is oh, one of the best fragrances. This is Patchouli Oud from Essence, And dominant on Patchouli side, absolutely. Hints of Oud, but a clean Oud, if that makes sense. It's not a, you know, an animal Oud or, you know, something that's very, like, body odor-ish, no. This is more on the woody side, but clean. And then a patchouli gives us this uh, earthy, slightly sweet nuances. Evanescence, just in general, the company is base notes. If you don't know nothing about them, they are heavy on the base notes. So you know it's gonna be more full winter oriented. And the presentation is freaking Ridiculous. So that is at number four. Number three. Let me get myself right. Number three. New part of the family. I just got this. Um, I think around June, July. I think I can't remember. One or two. And I fell in love with this all over again. This is from Monster Bacali. I do have a review up. This is Fusion Sacré. <sighs> Y'all already know Fusion Sacré. I, I always wanted this fragrance, but I just didn't pull the trigger. But now I have it, and this is caramel, celery, 
boozy, boozy kind of rum note, but just, I think if you're looking, and this might sound strange, if you're looking for a scent that will work for Halloween, it's right here. This screams like that Halloween party right in your face fragrance. This is that fragrance. Cool enough to wear outside, but just sweet that gives you this candy effect that smells like that caramel or those corn candies. So, that is an absolute gorgeous fragrance. Check it out. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this fragrance. This isn't new, but it's new in my collection. All right, that's number three. Number two, another new fragrance in my collection. I just did a review about this fragrance and I am in love with this fragrance. The house in general is just, they knocking shit out the park. Bam! Every time. Every time. This is from Dream House Curio, and this is Elon. Elon is cherry wine. Ugh. Just, if you can think of a boozy wine with uh, tobacco and I mean the most authentic tobacco not burnt tobacco just like in a almost in a cigar or a pipe tobacco Whew. that's this right here December all day November all day and I urge you to compare this to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry if you want a cherry like fragrance this to me just uppercut roundhouse knock you out you, you're down for the count i don't care what you say tom ford is a great fragrance company but comparing this fragrance to that i pick this every single time over that one especially for the fall so that is elon from dreamhouse security and number two all right look at my face people Look at my face when I tell you, are y'all ready for number one? All right, number one, got this year. I've been wondering for three years. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook, if y'all see how much I love this house, and it's just been impossible to get because they just started uh, releasing fragrances in the US. Number one is, for male Fuccini, this is Oda 93. Oda 93, I got a review for this one also, is tobacco, spices, and tuberose. Now, honestly, I am not a tuberose fan. You guys, if y'all know me, you don't know me, I'm telling you right now, I do not like tuberose. I can't stand it. It lasts too long and it's very floral and weird. But for some reason, this shit right here, this shit right here, it works. I don't know why, but I am addicted to this fragrance. This is my favorite fragrance in my entire collection. I'm telling you right now. In my entire collection right now, uh, Amondi Palazzo, the, 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 the Bodicea fragrance, no, this is right here. Oh my gosh, so, good last 10 hours beautiful can work outside that's the thing for me for fall and winter fragrances most times you spray you go somewhere you're some, sitting down somewhere in a building i test these when i'm outside if i'm going shopping i'm going walking around the city or i'm just chilling outside i want it to work and this fragrance works outside so that's why i i truly love it and it's not available everywhere so i walk past Three, four hundred people, and no one's gonna smell like me. So, there we go. So, at number one, my top 14 fall fragrances. This is Male Fuccini's Eau de 93. And I hope you guys enjoyed that list. That was my fragrances. I hope that it was something there that you guys haven't tried yet. And that's my thing. I wanna make sure that I'm giving you guys some options to smell different, smell unique, and, and give you, you know, just a different vibe, and I hope y'all appreciate it. I'm still trying to get to that 2,000 subscriber mark. I don't know, 
maybe it's just my style of fragrance reviewing that is not appealing. That's okay, I'm not for everyone. But those who have been rocking with me, I truly appreciate it. And have an opportunity to give me a thumbs up, comment. If you like this kind of thing, tell me what fragrances you got that's gonna rock for the fall, let me know. And also share my fragrance reviews or videos with your friends. And, and let them know what's going on. Unless you want to be selfish and be like, nah, I'm not letting nobody know the fragrances I'm going to get that you suggested because I don't want nobody to smell like me. That's a little selfish, but I understand. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out on the next video. Until then, peace.